It's the end of the school day in Dan Mondi, and the ice cream sellers are waiting. This is a wealthy suburb, home to Bangladesh's small but growing middle class. A recent study of primary school children here found more than half were obese. It was carried out by a professor at the country's biggest diabetes hospital. Already Bangladesh has a major problem with the disease and he fears overweight children are a looming health crisis. It has, a, I think, very devastating consequence in future because unless uh, people are controlling their weight within certain limits, we know that we are leading towards uh, a host of disorders. It's not only diabetes. The cause is a rapid change in the lifestyle of the affluent. After school, the fast food restaurants in this shopping centre are a major attraction. A meal here costs far more than ordinary people earn in a day, but there is no shortage of customers. I always used to take uh, traditional food, that is chotpati or lassi, but she's uh, more used to having Coke or Sprite. I think that it's not good for health, but uh, it's very tasty and people are used to take it. You don't have to go far to find people suffering from Bangladesh's other affliction, malnutrition. This slum is just down the road from the shopping centre. Even in the city, many people aren't getting enough of the right things to eat. On waste ground, these children were out foraging, collecting wild leaves to supplement the family dinner. Around half of all Bangladeshis live below the poverty line. Bangladesh is dependent upon rice, so there's not variety in, in, in their food. Uh, and also the mixture of micronutrients uh, is, is not very good and not adequate for the children. And so Bangladesh faces a twin challenge. While some do brutal physical work, others need more exercise. And while the affluent struggle to stay slim, the poor need help to get enough to eat. Roland Burke, BBC News, Dhaka.